decreasing by a percentage. So very similar to increasing by a percentage, there's two ways to do it, and we'll just look at an example. We want to decrease $50 by 20%. So method one, we can just find 20% of the $50, so 20 over 100 times 50, this is going to give us $10. Then to decrease, now we just need to decrease $50 by $10. So we take the $50 and subtract 10, and we get $40. Method two, this is the method I use. So we're going to take 100%, and we're going to subtract the percent we want to decrease by which is 20%. This is going to give us 80%. And now we just want to find 80% of $50. Oops, 80 over 100. And times that by the thing we want to decrease. And doing this straight away gives us $40. Okay, let's look at another example. Let's decrease $720 by 30%. So I'm going to use method 2, where I'm going to go 100% minus the percent we want to decrease by to give us 70%. Now we just want to find 70% of the thing we want to decrease by. So 70 over 100 times what we want to decrease, which is 720. And this gives us an answer of $504.